Cam, now that it's been a few hours, what has it been like just to be back here in Phoenix? Uh, it's cool. It's nice. Um, you know, I still got some family out here. So been able to spend, spend some time with them. Um, it's familiar. I say that. Has you have you processed kind of just what the emotions will be like as you get ready to take the court for tonight's game? You know, I feel like it's one of those things you just got to take it as it comes um, and just kind of roll with it and just be in the moment, enjoy the moment. Okay, what comes to mind when you step back in this building? Like I said, it's a familiar place. Um, you know, a lot of games played here, a lot of wins on this court, um, and and it's just you know it's almost like you never left. Yeah. Do you have a favorite memory? I have to say the finals. With those first two wins in the finals, go back to that time we were really on a high, you know. Didn't end the way we wanted it to, but if you capture that moment in time, it's pretty cool the way the, the city, you know, just loved it, you know, cared for us, um, enjoyed the process with us. Uh, it was a lot of fun. How much do you and Mikhail still reminisce about those days? Obviously, you guys are still teammates, but you ever still. We got a lot of stuff on our minds right now that uh, kind of takes away from the, I think when we're old, we can reminisce. Uh, when we're done playing, maybe. But right now, there's there's so much stuff every day that we're trying to figure out and combat and, and work to being a better team in the present that, that kind of takes up a lot of our attention. How did you process the, the trade when it happened in real time? And what's it mean to still be kind of, you know? That's a loaded question. <laughs> That's a very loaded question. Um, being that I'd never been in a situation like that before, it was, it was, it was a lot. And I leaned on the people around me, uh, my family, agents, friends, people that I can trust. Obviously, our organization with Brooklyn did a fantastic job in kind of just easing that transition and making everything as easy as possible and as comfortable as possible. Um, so I, you know, I thank them a lot for that um, because, you know, emotionally, mentally, it can throw you through a loop. It changes your whole entire life. You know, one day I'm wearing a Suns jersey, two days later I'm playing a game in a Brooklyn jersey. Um, and, and sometimes, you know, that's that's that can be a little difficult. But if you have the right people around you. Um, you know, obviously doing the trade with Mikhail, somebody that I know, I'm stepping on the court, I look to the side of me, he's right there, just like, you know, every game that I've played. Uh, so that stuff all goes a long way in making that transition as smooth and easy as possible, and I'm really grateful for the people that were able to help me with that. Oh, just, just to still feel the support of Suns fans, do you still feel that on social media? And yeah. You noticed it? Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 these fans are great. These fans were amazing. Um, and it's crazy, the, the development of the program, the development of the team culture and the development of how, you know, the, the city kind of cared for this team over my time here was just amazing to see. And I think a big part of that mutual love is, is the fact that we were able to sort of in a way grow something together, you know, where it had been a couple down years and we were able to just, you know, put a group together and, 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 and turn it around a little bit. Um, and, and that love is very mutual. I love the fans here, and when I'm back in town, they you know, treat me as if I never left, and that's something that you just can't take for granted because nobody can really take that away from you, you know? Has this Obviously, been a moment that you've been waiting for to kind of get to, to kind of be back in this building, be back in front of the fans since when you look back at February and you only get to play here once? Uh, excited for it, yes. I wouldn't say waiting for it because, like I said, there's so much in the present that you can always focus on. Uh, our goals are, are very big this season for our team, so... Um, you just mark it on the calendar, know it's coming, and then and then excited for it. And I think one thing that you learn in this process is not to skip steps. Don't wish time away. Don't wish games away. Um, you know, you, I can look back through my career and 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 just see how important every game was. You know, and I can remember dang near every play from every game I've ever played. So I don't I, I don't like wishing them away. Um, I like kind of enjoying the moments as they come. And tonight's going to be a big one. Obviously, you obviously are with Brooklyn now, but do you take pride in that you were part of? the Suns turning the franchise around? Absolutely, 100%. Um, it, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work from everybody. It was a lot of teamwork, uh, organization, top to bottom. Um, and, and there were ups and downs, and there are times that stress us out more than others. Um, but it's something that I'll definitely have pride in and, and continue to have pride in was, was just being a part of something special. I think that's what, all we want in sports is to be a part of something that's bigger than ourselves. You know. It puts a lot of uh, puts a lot of things in perspective. It's bigger, you know. You got your team, your organization, the city. That goes all beyond the personal accolades and accomplishments, and extends it far beyond that. So uh, definitely appreciative, definitely grateful, and I won't forget it. The crazy What's part, up? the crazy part about it is, is that Devin, the only player, yeah, from, from those teams, teams. yeah. yeah. Did you, did you, did you it's, it it shows you just how the league changes, man. Right. They tell us this all the time. They told us this coming in. Vets that I had known, um, you know, across the board, from guys that have only been in the league one, two, three years, to guys like Vince uh, Carter that have been in the league forever. Guys say that the league can 
you know, it's a business um, and it, it can come at you fast and, and people make business moves and, and it kind of takes the personal out of it. I think in those first three and a half years in Phoenix, we were relatively, you know, we weren't immune of it, but we were in a bubble of a sense that like, we really care. We really care for each other. We really care for the program and for our collective success, kind of probably a lot more than individual success. Um, so that, that trade, you know, and, and everything that's happened since then with this, this team, that's the, that's the business. And you got to accept it. You got to love it. You got to be thankful that, you know, you have a part in it. Thankful that I have an organization like Brooklyn Team. It's like the ones I have here that, um, you know, I love playing alongside and love playing for. Um, and, and it's all just part of the journey, all part of the process. Did the offseason help you settle in after the whirlwind of those two and a half months? Absolutely. Yeah, those first two and a half months were, were, were crazy. I'm sure Mikhail will say the same thing. Um, the time to settle in, the time to actually find a place in Brooklyn and figure out what's going on in that city up there. Uh, yeah, it, it helped a lot. And then just getting to know the people better. You know, I love the people that we work with in Brooklyn. I love them. I show up to work every day and, and everybody, you know, is, is, is just a joy to be around. So that's, those are things I never take for granted. To what Dwayne asked about, you were a part of a program and, and developing it into one that made the finals. How much are you and Mikel trying to take what you learned and picked up here? into Brooklyn and making the same thing happen there? A ton. I think that's a big part of this is everybody has their own unique perspective. Me and Mikhail have one side. You know, somebody like Royce uh, had some really good teams in Utah. Um, JV's been a part of some really good cultures and, 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 and assembled a, a, a staff that has a variety of background. So I think all that stuff just plays in, and it's a building process. I mean, we're in there talking things out every day, trying to figure this thing out, and I, and I, think, uh, I think we'll be better for it. You guys have been one of the teams trending upward and winning six is your last day. What's working for you right now as a team? Playing hard, playing hard and covering for each other and just taking the pride in what we do. Um, obviously, there's some X's and O's that we intend to clean up and are starting to clean up. But I think the, the root of it is just learning to lean on each other in that competitive aspect. Cam, we've heard from guys say that they compete harder against you know, guys that they love and friends. How excited is it to, after years of practicing against Book, to you know, have that match? It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Is it, is it weird being back in the building, or has the nine months kind of helped everything soak in, or is it? I wouldn't say it's weird. I wouldn't say weird. It's, it's, a, it's a cool feeling, man. I just I feel grateful to be in spots where I can leave and be so appreciative. And, and you know, it's, it's, it's really a blessing when you think about it to have people that you miss like this, to have people that um, you grew an actual connection with, you know, that it, it impacts you when you leave. Um, so I, I take it all as positives, man, and it doesn't feel weird coming back here. It just, it's a cool feeling. You know, it's familiar. I've played here a lot of times, and i um, looking forward to playing here tonight. Yeah, and to your point, a lot of the familiar faces will start to be in the building exactly. tonight. All the you, you, starting with you guys. Hey. Starting with you guys. That, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. place you had to go to to I eat? Home. I went home. I went home. My, my little brother's still in high school out here. He goes to Pinnacle High School. Um, I'm sure you guys out here know where that is. Um, so, you know, my mom and my dad and my, my dog is out here right now. So that was the highlight of the trip, getting to see her for a couple of days. I'm, I'm planning to bring her to Brooklyn, but with all the travel and stuff, you know, I'm still getting that all figured out right now. So the uh, opportunity to see little Halo was, yeah, highlight of my night. You wow. mentioned about that, about not bringing your dog out here because he, she's a desert she's dog, as you dog. say. <laughs> but how ex what was her? What was that moment like when she got to see you, and how excited was oh, she? She was bouncing off the wall. She sprinting out the door. She was like wheezing, kind of. She was making like wheezing, and she would like roll in, and she'd go jump off the couch, run back see me. She was excited, um, and she threw up shortly thereafter. So she was, <laughs> she was really excited. A little welcome home gift. But uh, yeah, it's it's awesome seeing her. Um, I I love, you know, I love having a dog in the league because you know a lot of. People have family, kids, you know, and, and it kind of is that same thing. But when you come home, your dog don't care whether you have a good game or a bad game. They just dare to give you a hug, you know. So not like Mikel who just like threw Sonny into the fire immediately. Yeah, but yeah, Sonny's a little older, you know. Sonny's a little older, more experienced. He's able to roll with the punches. He's a big dog, you know. He he uh, he he's and he's been great out there. I see him every day uh, when I leave. Uh, he's kind of sitting in the parking lot waiting. So yeah, he got a good system in place for him there, and I, you know I'm trying to get one for Halo soon. How early will you have to get to tonight's game? Because as you mentioned, you left this place in a good place and you're going to see a lot of familiar faces. How many people will you have to speak to as you walk back in this building? It'll probably be a lot. You know, the main thing is the main thing. We've got to play the game, but um, I'll, I'll definitely take the time to, um, you know, interact with and say thank you to the people that are important. Nah, it's, it's going to be, uh, 
it's going to be cool, man. I, the thing is, um, I had a similar uh, a situation not too you know dissimilar from this when I when I left North Carolina, uh, went, left Pitt and went to North Carolina. I played there my senior year, um, which is you know probably even weirder going back to a college because you don't really think you know that's on the table when you start that journey. Um, and and so I, one thing I learned from that game is to just uh, take it all in and enjoy it. Uh, the one thing I said when that happened was the last time I played a game in a pit uniform in that building, I, I didn't know that that would be, you know, my second to last game there. So the opportunity to go back there and play was huge for me. Um, and it's the same situation here. The last game I played in this building, I didn't, I didn't know that it would be my last game in the Suns uniform uh, for that time. Um, so, you know, you just got to take it as it comes, man. Enjoy it. Allow the emotions or whatever that comes with it just to, you know, apply it towards the court and understand that the main thing is the main thing and that, uh, you know, we got, a, we got a pretty good team, and we're looking to just continue to get better. You know the tribute video is coming up. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I think they'll give, you know, Kel a tribute video, and then, and then thank you. Uh, thank you, Cam. <laughs> well, Cam. So I told Kel, I told him to save the tribute video for Kel. Give him a double, give him a double length feature. He's got one dunk for the attention. You, give me one, you can give me one dunk, and <laughs> Kel get the rest of the double length feature. Okay, you can throw that game one in there, too. That's two clips, double length feature for Mikael Bridges. Cam, since the main thing is the main thing for you, you do have the Suns tonight. And with this trio that they do have and the bench that, that they do have, what is the challenge of facing the Suns group? Obviously, super talented scores across the board. Um, guys, like three-level scores. Um, that uh, you, you have to try to disrupt. And so I think the, the, the key for us is really just to hone in on all the concepts that we've been talking about to this point and to just come out and play hard and, and not try to let them get comfortable getting the rhythm.